Hi, this is Ben Seacrest from Accurate Fishing Products, and I've got a lot of questions lately um, from different people in regards to spin, spin popping or, you know, fishing a popper with a spinning rod and spinning reel. Um, spent a lot of time, like this last winter, in Puerto Varda fishing with some friends, uh, Keith then out on the Maximus, and we did a lot of popper fishing for schooly fish, and what I wanted to do is just share some of the stuff that we did down there in Puerto Varda with you guys, but it's not just for Puerto Varda. Depending on where you live, like uh, you, you guys in Louisiana do a lot of popper fishing for school fish, and they get fish up to 100 pounds or bigger there. And the guys down in Florida fish the black fins, and they also get plenty of schooly fish up to 25, 30 pounds. Popper fishing is a ball. I mean, it's really fun. And if you've got little tunas, little bluefin tunas that run up and down the East Coast too, anytime you got small little tunas, there's a, this, this whole thing with fish and spin rods and small poppers is a blast. Let me go over the outfit that I'm using right here and I'll give you a couple pointers on stuff that I found that works really well. So this is our um, SR20. We also make an SR12 and the SR12 I predominantly fish like, uh, uh, I'll fish 50 pound on it, 40 pound braid and then I'll do a small trace leader. On this one I'm fishing 65 on the SR20. The um, reason I fish 65, you see this one is, the, in Port of Arda, and you guys have heard a lot of stories, there's some bigger fish, so a lot of times you'll be fat, ca casting on schooly fish and all of a sudden a bigger fish will show up. Well, obviously I'm not going to catch a cow on this, and a cow's 200 pounds or, or more on it, but you can catch fish over 100 pounds on these spinning rods, it's just going to take a little bit of time and a little bit of effort. And it will all be dependent on how good your technique is with the rod and how you can actually pull on the rod and work the reel at the same time. Um, so what we use here is we've got an SR20 65 and this is uh, actually Proto AccuBraid that we're looking at with a different color. Then I have this Accurate Extreme Rod. These are brand new. Um, last month or so we actually brought these rods out. This one right here is a 7030. Okay. Guys are like, well, why do you use a 70-30? Why don't you use a 70-40? Something that's a little bit more uh, heavy, something that, you know. Problem is, heavier the rod with a, with a spinning rod, you lose castability. So you need a rod that's got some tip. The thing that's cool about the 70-30 is it has tip, but it has plenty of backbone. And the thing with the spinning rod, it's a little bit different. It will hurt you when you're pulling on a big fish on the spinning rod. So this 7030, this one's called an SR7030S, is a great rod for this combination, and we've used this a lot. This is a seven-foot rod. It's got, it, it basically here, I've, I've went through this before, I think, in other videos, but it's, it's got the better componentry. It's got a Fuji um, reel seat. It's got a metal uh, gim a gimbal down here with a rubber cap. And then these are just CAX and hardwood guides, so they work perfect what we're doing. If you look at the leader that I have, this is key. I use these small trace leaders and the thing that's important is to be able to tie good knots. This is just a uh, surgeon's double, uh, it's just a double line surgeon here, but when I tie it over here to my leader, I'm using a double uni. So you look at that, that's just a double uni knot. You can use any type of connection you want, but this knot seems to work really well for me on this. The key part about this whole thing with casting is don't use too long a leader because a lot of times people use a really long leader and the knot a lot of times will hold you up or mess up your cast in the top tip guide. So I use anywhere from 12 to 18 inches. This might be a little bit longer, but what you want to do is when you're throwing a plug, you want to have a little bit more line off the tip. So when you make the cast, you've already got a pendulum motion going. You can really put that um, the, the plug out there in the popper. The thing that's cool about these Halco 135s is the way that they're weighted and their shape, they cast really well into the wind. So, um, one, a couple of the key things that I've learned with, uh, with this popper fishing is a lot of times we're fishing bird schools. So when you fish a bird school, you run up to a bird school and a lot of guys will run right into the bird school. That times you put the fish down, you're not going to have that long to react to the fish because when the fish are down, you're not going to get a bite. So a lot of times what we do is we'll run up to the bird school, turn the boat off and glide into the bird school. You get guys running up to the bow to cast on them, you know, which is great, and they get, they get a good fair share of it. A lot of times what I do is I'll wait until the boat gets, you know, is done pretty much gliding into the fish. I'll make a cast then. thing with popper fishing is that you don't have to sit there and go pop, 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 
best thing I've learned is you put the rod at about 10 o'clock, you start winding, and what you do is you create the motion as, this, as the popper's going through, the water's going choo, 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 choo. You don't need a specific pop, pop, pop. If you're calling the fish up from the deep, that works great. But a lot of times, just getting the, just getting the popper moving on the surface is great. If you put your rod too high, the popper will come out of the water. So about 10 o'clock, you know, or so is where I do with it. And what the cool thing about it is when you get bit, if your rod tip's about right there, you can raise the rod tip a couple more degrees and you've got the fish on and you've got a, you know, a good hook set. The other thing with, um, if you're fishing small schooly fish that are like 35 pounds or under, the hooks on this are fine. Cool, but the cool thing about the plugs is the plugs have um, uh, these VMC hooks on them, but if you know that there's a possibility of hooking an 80 or 100 pound fish, I would tell you straight up to go through and change any of the hooks that you see on the poppers now and change them to like 4X strong. So I've been using the 2O owner 4Xs and they work really good on these. Um, they work really good on these poppers. These poppers come in a whole bunch of colors, but a lot of times I'll use silver color and the silver color seems to bring them out in, you know, like lighter conditions. But then you've got greens, pinks, you've got little bonitas, and there is three different sizes. There's a 105, which is a little small. The 135 is a great size for using for tuna. And if you see bigger fish busting around too, they also make a 195 rooster popper that works great. Um, any of this stuff is super, super uh, good. It's, you're going to have a good success rate with fish with it. But the one thing with popper fishing that I'll, that I'll tell you for sure is, it's full of action, you're casting, you're winding, when the fish are on, they're on. And uh, the one thing that I can tell you is when you are casting and you're on a boat with more than one person, make sure you're looking behind you because I've seen people get hooked by people that are totally excited just looking at the fish and not looking at their surroundings. Um, the other thing is, you know, you're out there, you're having a great time and obviously with trebles a lot of times it's harder to release fish, but if you can release the fish, release the fish. Keep what you eat, can eat and let the rest go. But um, popper fishing's a lot of fun. This is our setup for popper fishing, like I was saying, an SR20. You got the SR7030 rod. And then a 135, uh, 135 uh, Halco rooster popper. With the braid I didn't mention, depending on how big the fish are, fish 60 and 80 pound braid works really good. Um, the smaller the fish, the smaller, uh, the smaller the fish, the smaller the leader, not the braid. The braid, you know, depending on what you want to do, you can fish any type of reel. But smaller fish, smaller tackle, you're going to have a lot of fun. So give it a try, and we really appreciate uh, you guys tuning in and watching our videos. And if you have any questions, you can get a hold of us, like I said before, at info at accuratefishing.com. Thank you very much.